if you are not having a good week, you should know how many weeks of advertising our <laughs> friends at Extreme Restraints bought with us because it is going to get so real <laughs> over the next few months. It is going to buckle get... Buckle up. Buckle up. And by which I mean to the bed with your lover. Right. So, can provide that for you now. I have suggested that we retitle the podcast... The McElroy Brothers Extreme Restraints Comedy Hour. <laughs> Buckle up and fuckle up, because it's Extreme Restraints <laughs> time. Everybody's got some needs, and everybody's got some wants. Extreme Restraints catalog of sexual products will fulfill both of those things for you. So visit ExtremeRestraints.com and get an electroshock paddle that goes on your balls. Is that a real thing? It should be. I'm going to request that you put a real product in there. Go to ExtremeRestraints.com and buy a ghost that you can fuck every night. <laughs> That's not a thing. We need a site called Go to ExtremeRestraints.com <laughs> Buy a sexual fish tank. <laughs> you're you're doing an ad for ex Extreme Go to ExtremeRestraints.com and learn about all the good chicken pot pie recipes. <laughs> On the forums. On the, fo on the forums. <laughs> Holy inaccurate. <laughs> Everything you're saying right now is a bastardization of this product message. Do you like to fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they say, I think toys is too much for these works of art. I oh, think there are toys. Fuck accoutrement. Really. Mm. Accoutrement. How about a country? <laughs> 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 Cannot. Cannot. <laughs> Uh, they sent us a list of things that people have bought using the coupon code, and it's awesome. Things like the one-shot enema launcher. Mm -hmm. Things like the super snake bite suckers. Things like the Blossom Glass Dildo, TM, from the TV show Blossom. <laughs> the ostrich tickler, which the isn't what I think it is. <laughs> we got a, be uh, uh, a beaded silk rope, the Climax Gems vibrator, and a scarlet overload beaded anal plug. That's one order. I mean, that's... What do you think the uh, the super head honcho is? I don't know, but lots of people seem to be getting into that right now. What about Sammy's fist anal plug? Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, butterfly lace tanga panty. That sounds nice. That sounds like a nice place to start. How about latex briefs with a penis sleeve? That's good because it, sometimes um, my penis gets so cold... Yeah, um, just for this war, uh, you know, winter is coming. Winter is coming. Uh. Put your dick in this sleeve. Put your dick in this cage. I'm looking for branding opportunities just all the time, and I think, what if uh, big dildos? What if they were called thrildos? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You put them in the freezer. It's a childo. Oh, no. <laughs> Some stuff you might not even realize you want yet. And some yeah, stuff, you know. let, let's be honest, terrifies the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, it'll make whatever weird thing you're into seem like comparatively super, super red. Mm -hmm. Part of the fun is going on that roller coaster ride to realize just what your limits are, you know? And you go yeah. in and you say, oh, scented flavored lube, that sounds cool. Uh, uh, you know, a vibrator, that, oh, that seems pretty fun. The showstopper dildo. Okay, I think I... I passed it a yeah. little bit. Let's backpedal a little bit and get back to the territories where we feel find exactly where I'm comfortable. Feel fine. So mm -hmm. that a that's dildo, a candelabra. There will be something there that you're comfortable. A with. dildo candelabra. It's basically like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers of dicks. Like you, it's morphin time, and your bad, broken dick that felt too good, so it died, mm -hmm. is replaced by a synthetic. Dick. I don't understand so that would be like, like what your Blue Ranger of dicks, and then it becomes like the Green Ranger of dicks. Here's an attachment you can put on a drill that it seems to be a soft rubber tip, perhaps to protect you from drilling things accidentally. <laughs> have, have, what happens? Do, do, are you jamming a drill and then you turn it on and you say, whoops, that's not, I didn't mean to drill this, this chair. 
how did you, uh, how you get into this predicament in the first you place? Trip. You trip. You get excited because you're about to mm-hmm. drill something. So you start drilling, and then you fall or trip. Okay. I'm looking at one thing here, and it looks like... Have you ever, like, been carrying a candle around and thought, like, ah, right, this takes up a whole hand, and I need two hands to do some things? It looks like here they have a belt that you can wear that you can hold the candle on the belt, and then you have two free hands. I think oh, that's... Very impressive. I think I understand. Um... You know how sometimes you're uh, at home and you just got back from the grocery store and you pull, you get out the kielbasas that you bought at the grocery store and you think, man, I these sure looked bigger at the grocery store. And then uh-huh. you get them out and you find them unsatisfyingly small and you think, sure. these aren't going to keep me, these aren't going to fill me up. Um, they have a special, per- I'll call it a peripheral, and it is a pump. And uh-huh. you put the kielbasa inside it and if you, <laughs> and then all of a sudden your kielbasa... The kielbasa that you bought for eating is bigger. Have Have you ever said something you didn't mean to someone, <laughs> and you think, "Ah, oh, me and my big mouth. When am I going to learn to keep my When am I going to learn to keep my big mouth shut?" Well, what if I could? What if What if you could put a ball in there all mm-hmm. the time that you can't take out at uh-huh. all? Maybe a big. Maybe you put a whole leather mask in front of your face that looks like a dog. <laughs> And, and you, you know, never and it's very funny because you know it's it's a great gag gift because everyone's always walking dogs <laughs> but nobody ever puts the leash on a person. <laughs> and it, you know what else makes on extreme restraints? You know what else makes a great gag gift? Yeah, <laughs> a, a gag. <laughs> oh, good. You ever what goofs and goofs and goofs? Have you ever it's... have you ever been at home and it's real hot? So you're obviously you're not wearing any pants or underpants. <laughs> And so you're sitting there, and um, I don't want to get blue, but let's say your privates are out. But all of a sudden, there's a, a bunch of wild dogs get in the room, and you're afraid that you'll be bitten uh, on your privates. Well, there's a special cage that you can put around it to keep uh, wild animals away from the thing that you have down there, whatever it may be. But I think Extreme I know Extreme Restraints is. is looking out for your safety. It's a, hey. it's a safety cage, like a shark with shark divers use. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know how... Sometimes when you turn into a werewolf, people chain you up in the basement. Uh-huh. Well, what if only your privates turn into a werewolf? <laughs> Have you thought about that underserved uh, portion of the population? Mm-hmm. It, what if you're the captain of a pirate ship? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> I'm following so far. How you need something to, with which to punish the, the, the shipmates who act up. And we're uh-huh. really, uh, you can't go to Target and buy a cat of nine tails. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Then, sure, th- yeah, this go is, on. This is a whip specifically for non-sexual punishment. <laughs> I can't stress this enough. Well, imagine this, that you're trying to get to work, right? But you're okay. late, and you need to take the carpool lane. But you're okay. by yourself, and you got no one to carpool with you. But well, then you reach in the trunk, and you inflate yourself a friend. And you pop them into your passenger seat. (laughs) Carpool buddy. That's at extremerestraints.com. At some sex shops, when they sell you a a dildo at four-fifths of the price, they'll chop off the tip of the dildo and send you four-fifths of the dildo. (laughs) The Extreme Restraints will not short you like that. You get the whole hog. That's their motto. Come to Extreme Restraints and get the whole hog. But the hog in this case is like like a fake cock. Mm-hmm. It's like a hog. It's like, like a hog. Yeah, I guess I didn't need to be any more explicit than that. Sure, yeah. And all your uh, stuff because... will come in a very discreet box. None of those oh, big, man, like, bright red, fu- this box full of dildos boxes you normally get. <laughs> you will, you'll be lucky if you can find it. <laughs> they, they, will make it they will make it look like the rock you hide your key under. They're like, wait a minute. <laughs> I could have sworn I ordered something from them. They actually have you guys seen Looper? What they do is they travel back in time and they give you that dildo <laughs> twenty minutes before you ordered it. So you've all actually always had that dildo. Only you go what? Wait a second! But then you go thirty years and it's your dildo. It was your dildo all <laughs> along. <laughs> they close the loop. I closed my dildo loop. Now close your loop. And by loop, I mean butthole. Close it up. I'm Dan Aykroyd, the brother of old Joseph (laughs) Gordon-Levitt. And I'm going to close your dildo loop. He grew up into me. He grew up into me in an alternate future where someone gave him (laughs) a dildo. Can you believe it? No, neither can I. (laughs) Me neither. 
I really and hope the people future come to the dildos theater. are illegal. <laughs> so we have to put them in this machine and send them back to you, and you can save money on them, and you got to get rid of them, by which I mean put them all the way up your butt until you can't see it anymore. That way future cops can't find it. Griffin, are you suggesting that the reason Dan Aykroyd's head is increasing in size is because people are using his head to store <laughs> contraband future dildos? Is that what you're saying to me right now? Just make take the leap. You know who also scared Christopher Columbus, and he discovered America. Oh my God! Um, discover your America of fucking at extreme. You may think that you're going to India, but what's that? It's your asshole, and it's blown out. <laughs> you should have trained it you before. Actually, super we blew talk out. To you about that. Yeah, you got to train it with these special <laughs> gauged butt plugs. You're gonna love the way it feels. It's you're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee. I get, it. You may be looking for for spices, for exotic spices. Instead, what you're going to find is that things happen when things rub up against your prostate. Get the anal trainer set. It's on Get sale now for only twenty three eighty. Listen, we've all been very disappointed in your anus's performance lately. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we want to enroll it in a seminar. Um, and by seminar, I mean a gradually increasing in size series of... Um, but valves, I guess, is mm-hmm. what's a good way to describe what these things are. But but missiles. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna ram jam them up in there. You're gonna be good to go. You're gonna be a, a very productive member of the company. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, Train that ass. The... But don't don't fuck your fin's mouth. Even though it'll cause you pleasure to your penis. <laughs> pleasure. To your brain Pleasure To your butthole Extreme restraints will make you go insane With pleasure Their workers legit listen to My Brother, My Brother and Me while they're like packaging your stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so imagine, <laughs> imagine that uh, that uh, urethral sound probe that you put in your urethra mm-hmm. has been bombarded by MBMBAM at some point in the in the process. Oh, that's perhaps. great! It's like we're singing, it's like we're singing a lullaby, as the, as the master blaster dildo, <coughs> dil, dil, uh, dildo. No, there's got to be a funnier thing. Dildmatron. It'll it'll come to you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's the something. URL again? It's extremerestraints.com. Don't go to extremerestraints.gov. <laughs> <laughs> my butt plug doesn't stretch my anus in a way that's pleasurable to me anymore. Yeah, uh-huh. it got, and your, your gauge is too. At this point, too, you've already done all the stretching you're your, gonna do. Your gauge is too high now. You gotta keep right. upgrading. Like we don't get we don't get to like gauge. You guys, like the kind of people that you are. So when we yeah. get, or what gauge of dildo you're getting? Yeah. So when we get a list saying like, you bought, you bought like a butt hammer called Little Stomper, then like <laughs> we that inf- that informs us about the char- the shape and angle of your character. That helps us to customize the show for your enjoyment. That's mm-hmm. it. Think of it like a focus group because we want to know the angle of your dangle, and this is how we do. You ever look at really ski cucumber and thought, I bet I could juice that. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> com has got you covered. Have you heard? Head honcho. Well, uh, man, chronic constipation is a problem that a lot of people run to nowadays. <laughs> maybe you want to buy, maybe you don't want to go to the ball greens and buy a douche. And maybe you want to buy a special douche, one that can get real deep in there. You know, chronic diarrhea is a problem. <laughs> Be easier to just plug it up. <laughs> not that's nothing, not you nothing. covered in extreme restraints. Oh, nothing coming or everything. going. Oh my god! You know, you know, swings are great for the kids. <laughs> what about adults? <laughs> but don't you miss the fun of of soaring through the air and out of care of the world? Well, extreme restraints has you covered mm. with a fun swing to mm-hmm. swing on. Sure. Um, I on on the I prepared a, a special. Uh, a special uh, game uh, where I am going to name an item and you are going to tell me whether or not is it, whether it is by extremechains.com or is it a, cre- a product of my imagination. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. First up, Master Series Extreme Chastity Cage. Uh, that's def- I have two of those, so it's definitely real. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's Extreme Strains. I know for a fact. Mm. Uh, uh, 
slappy master butt paddling thing. Well, that's... <laughs> now, 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 you may have lost it. It may have come off the rails when you mumbled thing at the end. I, I just wish that somebody would, some brain trust would get together and finally name what it is when the the thing it is that you butt paddle with. <laughs> you know, the slappy paddling <laughs> thing. Uh, if only we could figure it out. I guess we'll never know. As imagined. Pussy Crusher Extreme Latch. That is not a verb that I want ever done to any <laughs> pussy ever. How'd it go last night on uh, on your blind date, Steve? Crushed it. We uh, got together. We went to this really charming vineyard, and we crushed up pussy <laughs> for <laughs> pussy like that, Do you remember that one uh, that one episode of I Love Lucy where uh, she was standing in that thing just crushing all those pussies? We did that. Yeah, it was like <laughs> we did like that. that. But now with grapes with human pussies. Mm-hmm. So what's your vote? It's, I think it's real. I think it's real, too. No, it's fake. I made uh, it up. Fuck. Damn it. I was wondering how a latch would do crushing, but go on. <laughs> the cock rider masturbator. Yeah. That's got to be real. Clearly. Okay. Easy access neoprene restraint system. That's real. That's totally real. Mm-hmm. I'm adding all of these to my Amazon wish list. Oh, wait. It's not on Amazon. Got to hit up Extreme Restraints. Do you guys have Extreme Restraints Prime? It's like, when it's it like absolutely Amazon Prime. positively has to be the next day. It's like Amazon Prime, except instead of doing shipping faster, someone comes to your house and fucks you with the thing that you bought. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, here's an interesting thing that I uh, I do want to mention. They have an electric paddle on here. Okay. It is a it is a paddle that you spank, you know, your your lover, uh, and it can also be it, used for home defense. I assume. <laughs> well, no. This is the thing, and this is not a joke. I have this already, but it was marketed to me as an electric fly swatter. <laughs> oh, I am man. 150% sure it is exactly the same have thing. Have you not wondered why after you smack the fly, it has bitch written out across its face? <laughs> and also the fly has, also the fly has ejaculated. <laughs> I'm gonna, I want you to go to extremeshace.com and I want you to look up the electric paddle. So, boys, I'm sending you a link to the electric paddle in our in our chat right now. So, I want you to look at this and take it in, okay? Okay. 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 You've you've clicked this link, right? Uh huh. Okay. So, so what you, we're what we're you, looking you... at here is a like a tennis racket, except the the handle is long. It looks like it's probably got a slot for uh, maybe some double A's in there, and you put that in there, and then you press a button, and then electricity. Now I'm sending you a link to the. Uh, Amazing electric bug zapper this is, available. This on is Amazon. precisely this is precisely <laughs> the shit. same thing. It is exactly the same thing. It is so uh, nice in this world when you can find a multitasker. You know what I mean? Thank God, right? You get the get the electric paddle. That's gonna give somebody a jolt. And also use it as an electric fly swatter. Now, now I am imagine sending, this because I, imagine the humiliation, the last thing going through that fly's head when he's like, oh, please, oh, please tell me that wasn't on someone's ass. Yeah. Dead. But that's what it, it was. <laughs> Are your kids Harry Potter pretending not upsetting enough? Well, we've got a wand for you. <laughs> um, you got, you got you, another one? Um, I just found a share? product. I'm, let me workshop it real quick. I, I just have to workshop it while I talk. I need something to spread on my English muffins. And I'm a member of the male sex. I can't go out and I can't use country crock because it's too expensive. And I know I can't use girl butter because it's not it's not my it's not my given gender. Fortunately, Extreme Restraints has a product that is called boy butter. So I'll just go ahead and I'll buy a few of those in bulk so I don't even have to worry about my butter needs anymore. I also imagine that working there is like a like a sex toy Willy Wonka shop. And oh man. Oh, like golly. the world, the world of pure imagination. Come on, children! Going on in there. I've, I'm just saying that, like, after a while, I've chosen it's six of you. It's gotta not be so shocking that there's like a chocolate river and some will, some Oompa Ew, Loompa. Ew! What's in there? <laughs> now it's getting weird. <laughs> now it's it's was it started weird. It uh, started weird. There's a picture of the Sex Flesh Sammy doll that is worth the trip, even if you're not going to purchase something, because it is showing me an interior that I Holy, cannot identify. It's I, I it's all stars. I it's like it's made of stars. <laughs> we are it's, all stars. It's beautiful. I don't oh know God. what crevasse I, this is. Is this? Though. Is this? It looks. It I, looks like there's like a 
a buckle in there. It looks like a scene from Solaris. It, it's it's horrifying. I can't figure out what they're showing me. And the weird thing is, I want to like put a my, scene from inner space. I want to put my dick in it. Yeah, I got it's the weird gotta, thing yeah, about I it. Got to shove. Got to shove. I want to know what that glow is. If you go to extreme is God com, living in the sex flesh Sammy? God lives. At, that's that was what lost was about. Each sex flesh Sammy doll had someone murdered next to it, and now there's a ghost light inside whatever hole this is. Are we talking about like a brooch? We talking about like a pendant? Let me tell you what we're talking about. Is this like one about. of those brooches that has like an old lady on it? It's like ivory. It looks like uh, you know what I mean, like ceramic. No, it looks like some sort of weird Return to Oz metal snake robot okay. is crawling out of your penis hole. So not like oh, a lady. Oh, I see. Justin reading has a book. just forwarded me the picture, and it is in fact a picture of a dick as well. I guess <laughs> I should have assumed that. <laughs> hey, yeah, I just sent my brother's a picture of a dick. Must be Sunday. <laughs> I guess I should have assumed it was just a picture of a dick. Rachel, you gotta see this. <laughs> it's a order. ring that looks like a. It looks like a <laughs> dick, like a snake's coming out of a dick. <laughs> Do you think like they a metal fit coil, it? like a snake? They have to custom but it's fit coming it, right? out of the dick hole, and it's like wrapping around.